ಅನ್ಯದಂ ಚಿತ್ತಂ ಆತ್ಮನ್ಯೇವಾವಸ್ಥಿತೆ ನಿಸ್ಪೃಹ ಸರ್ವಗಾಮಿಭ್ಯೋ ಯುಕ್ತ ಇತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ತದ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟು ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಮೋಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ವಿನ್ಯತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ you are mind disciplined you will learn the discipline of the mind and you will be free from greed and fear then you are centered in yoga you are centered in truth i used to do this when i was in ramakrishna mission in mailapur mat early morning the milkman will come with cows the rule in the ashram is the fresh milk has to be offered to ramakrishna ramakrishna used to be very particular that no water or anything is added into the milk he loves the bengali sweets so the fresh milk has to be taken and they will make payasam porridge out of that fresh milk and some milk sweets for him an offer still many of the ramakrishna mats keep that tradition cow has to come to the ashram near the temple if they have their own cows great they will bring it from the ashram near the temple and milk and directly take it to the temple shrine even if they don't have cows the milkman has to bring the cow from his house they will not accept the milk got from the cows in the house itself no the cow has to come they will bring in chennai city mailapur almost 1 km the milkman every day morning and evening he will come with 10 cows holding those 10 cows he will come from the house to the mat behind the temple i was serving as a kitchen bandari and shrine bandari means the in charge of kitchen and shrine so morning i'll sit when the milkman brings his cows and starts milking it will be almost one hour process i am such an active guy one hour sitting silently is a big job and i can't meditate also because this fellow may put some water or he may not wash his hands i have to be sitting with open eyes with a awareness what is going on after 2 3 days i was wondering what is this is like a punishment for me every day morning i have to sit almost one hour seeing this guy milking the cows then i started wondering why why this is started i understood two things one the ability to maintain a discipline by the ramakrishna mission god Ramakrishna has left the body 100 years before. In 1886, he left the body. Now it is already 2012. Still, they have the ability to retain the discipline, the Guru Bhakti. God. Still, this handful of sannyasis are able to retain even such a simple it is not that ramakrishna gave an instruction hey after my death all my ramakrishna mant ashrams should get the cow and the milkman and milk the milk in front of my shrine and cook and feed me no he has not made the rule the love for the master how much of discipline brings in your mind why 
I have to sit there. I understood the other dimension. The indiscipline of this milkman. How much ever you pay him or tell him, if you allow him to milk in the house itself, he will add water due to his greed. So, milkman's indiscipline, Ramakrishnamat's discipline, these two was the lesson I learnt in that one hour. It was a big revelation for me. Because I was wondering, why should these poor cows have to walk all the way from the house to the temple and this milkman has to come here and milk? Even when I make the payasam, I will tie a cloth around my nose. I should not smell that. Only Bhagawan should smell. <laughs> I used to wonder, why this guy should come all the way with the cows and milk? Why should I sit early morning, one hour with this guy? But I always like that smell of Goshala. Goshala has a sweet smell. That cow dung and Panjagavya smell. I always like that smell. So finally what I realized is this two. One, the discipline which comes to you because of Guru Bhakti. The indiscipline which comes to you because of just simple indiscipline lifestyle. It is not that that milkman is greedy. Because mud gives enough money for him. It is just a habit. Milk means pour water. It has become indisciplined pattern, unconscious lifestyle. Then that day, when I realized this, two truths. That day when I made the payasam and offered to Ramakrishna, I prayed, Bhagawan, just bless me. I never, never, never crash the discipline of the mind. I always live with a deep discipline of mind. I tell you, he really granted that to me. Paramahamsa Nityananda, a rare living incarnation, is named among the world's 100 most spiritually influential personalities today. Paramahamsa Nityananda has been placed alongside Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Oprah Winfrey, Paulo Coelho and others by Mind, Body, Spirit, the world's top esoteric magazine from Watkins, London's oldest and largest bookstore. A yogi by birth, he has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth. He has authored more than 500 books in Tamil and English. Translations of these books are available in 26 languages in Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Oriya, Bengali, Marathi, French, Malay, Polish, Portuguese, Italian, German, Danish, Spanish, Russian and Chinese. He is also an exemplary speaker with over 10,000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses. Social services such as Annadan, free medical care, free educational services with ashrams, schools, temples, hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offering exceptional services. A powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases from migraine to cancer, a Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands, a living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam, a spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples in places like Los Angeles, San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, 
Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore and places in India like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai. A spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation, a contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers, an adept in Ashtamahasiddhi's mystical yogic powers who has effortlessly awakened the Kundalini of thousands and graced them with spiritual powers, a dynamic young guru who is an inspiration for thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online, a beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru, blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. He is the 293rd pontiff of the world's most ancient Hindu organization, Madure Adinam. Shantamayam Bandham